In response to protests sparked by Floyd's death, congressional Democrats today introduced legislation to reform policing in America. Meanwhile, President Trump is stressing law and order and sharply opposing calls to take any funding away from police departments. NBC's Alice Barr is in Washington with the latest. On Capitol Hill today, Democrats from the House and Senate kneeling silently for eight minutes and 46 seconds, the length of time a Minneapolis police officer pinned George Floyd's neck under his knee. Lawmakers then unveiling new police reform legislation, including bans on chokeholds and no-knock warrants and a national database to track police misconduct. We're here today in search of that vision, liberty and justice. For all. At the White House, where a newly constructed fence has become a canvas for memorials to George Floyd, President Trump huddling with law enforcement leaders today and tweeting, law and order, not defund and abolish the police. You eliminate police officers, um, you will have chaos, crime, and anarchy in the streets, and that's something that's unacceptable to the president. <laughs> Defunding and disbanding police agencies became a rallying cry of protesters nationwide. Now a majority of the Minneapolis City Council is pledging to dismantle its police department and recreate public safety systems, while the mayor of New York vows to cut NYPD funding for the first time and redirect that money to other community resources. We've got work to do. There's no question. Seattle's police chief supports more funding for social services, but stresses police will always be needed. Who's going to take the calls of domestic violence, uh, internet crimes against children, rape, robbery, vandalism? Calls for justice now shifting to practical policy change as leaders try to come to grips with a systemic struggle that spanned generations. As President Trump tries to show he has the nation on the right path, a new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll shows 80 percent of Americans think things are out of control, from civil unrest to the coronavirus. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.